Hi, welcome to today's video. My name is Paul. So this week, again, I had the chance to do a bit of um, landscape drawing. The materials, well, the materials are the same pretty much as I've been using since last year uh, in lots of different videos. I know every week there are some new people to the channel, so you may be not aware of the materials I'm using. In that case, I will try to remember to put a list of the materials in the description box below the video. I should also say, I have, as well as this YouTube channel, I also have a website. Uh, now, the website is at least three and a half years old, but I guess for the last year, maybe even year and a half, I've been kind of neglecting it. But uh, this year, being a new year, and maybe if you like a new year resolution, I decided to stop ignoring the website and try to use, try to do something about it. So I'm trying to produce some blog posts uh, every week, at least one blog post. I'm not saying that these are fascinating blog posts or great reads or anything like that. In some cases, the blog post is just me embedding that week's YouTube video onto the blog post and maybe adding in a, a couple of little extra things. But anyway, I thought I'd mention it. Uh, if nothing else, if you're interested in my art and you want to see a bit more of it, it is one place where you can uh, see a bit more. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is if you're interested, there's also a link in the description box below. So this week's topic, um, well, I don't watch TV. I, I don't even have a TV, but I do watch quite a bit of YouTube. Um, I just, I prefer YouTube. I think it's more real. I just, there's something about the videos, even if they're not that professionally produced, it doesn't matter because it's like real people talking about things that they're passionate about. And so I, I really love watching other artists, for example, on YouTube and their ideas and how they approach things and the materials they use and so on and so on. I just find it very interesting. So anyway, one of the videos that I watched this week is a guy, he does a lot of, I think, mostly oil painting uh, in a sort of impressionist style. And he was talking about his more successful paintings, well, the paintings that he feels are more successful, he feels that they tend to be the more spontaneous paintings. The paintings that he didn't sit down and analyze or overthink before he started putting the brush to the canvas. And it's something that I definitely agree with. Um, I don't overthink paintings and drawings in part because Thinking is not really my strong point. I try to avoid it if at all possible. But I just feel that relying more on intuition and feelings, emotions, to me anyway, that more spontaneous approach, that, if you like, non-thinking approach, tends to produce better art, at least in my case. I'm sure at some level, because I do know, I know a couple of things, I do know a little tiny bit about art, um, perspective and composition and color theory and those sorts of things. That information is in my brain somewhere. It's buried deep in the brain somewhere. So I'm sure at some level that knowledge plays a part in producing these drawings and paintings. At some level, my brain does have some input. but mostly it's more just spontaneous art. If you've never tried this approach, or maybe, maybe you've tried a more methodical approach to art, and maybe it's not working for you, or you're not completely satisfied with the results, I would definitely recommend having a go at this more spontaneous um, approach. At the end of the day, if it doesn't work out, um, there's nothing lost. I mean, it's just maybe one or two drawings or paintings that you're not completely happy with, but it, it's not going to do any harm. 
I don't think it it's going to work for everybody. Um, I think it depends on your personality maybe, I guess. For a lot of people, a more methodical, a slower approach to art is maybe the best way. It also, of course, depends on the type of art that you're producing. If the art that you produce is more, uh, let's say, like photorealism, in that case, the spontaneous approach is probably just not going to work at all. If you do a lot of portrait painting, that does tend to be slower and more methodical and you do have to think about all of the positions and proportions and perspective and all of those sort of things. But for other people, um, especially these sort of landscapes, maybe still lifes, that type of thing, as I say, if you're having trouble with a more methodical approach, at least give this spontaneous approach a try. Um, I don't think anything bad can come from it. Anyway, those are my ideas, sort of sparked by watching one of these YouTube videos. These are three of the final drawings. Um, again, trying to keep everything very, very minimal, especially the one, the first one on the left. Um, is only just a few lines on a piece of paper and a few smudges of white charcoal. But I, it's probably my favourite of the three drawings. I'm definitely getting more into this sort of minimalist approach. Anyway, um, if you made it this far in the video, thank you for watching, thank you for listening to me, and hopefully see you in next week's video.